Alright. So, magandang magandang araw once again sa inyo na lahat. So, we are here again on my channel wherein we are reviewing you. We are giving you a lot of lessons in English for you to be reviewed and aside from that, okay, to learn to learn about the English language, okay, that you can use for your daily lives and for your own, of course, and for your family, friends, and relatives. Okay, so before we discuss about uh, the different... Um, about the introduction of the uh, sentences. So this time, I'm gonna share you about the different patterns in formulating sentences. So stick around and uh, I will discuss it now. Okay, so again, so as I promised you last time that uh, in this video, we will be discussing about the five basic sentence patterns in English. But before doing that, uh, let me review first again uh, what is sentence? Sentence is a group of words expressing a complete thought. So the two elements or the, co the two uh, main parts of the sentence are the subject and the predicate. So no one, uh, uh, when no one of that or if, if one of that is omitted so that you cannot consider that group of words as a sentence because as I said, it should be two parts, that the two parts should be present, okay? So, you might, uh, according to here, you might have not noticed that this one, but English sentences may present themselves in a varying sentence patterns. So, these patterns refer to the arrangements of the elements of the sentence, and it starts from the most basic to the most complex. That's correct. So, as I mentioned, there are five bas basic sentence patterns in English among them. So, let me uh, uh, read it for you, the five. First, we have the subject plus the linking verb plus the complete complement, okay, or the SLVC. While in the number two, uh, we have the subject plus the transitive verb, intransitive verb, or the SIV. And then for the number three, we have the subject plus the transitive verb and the direct object, or the SDVDO. And the other one is subject plus the transitive verb plus the indirect object and plus the direct object or subject or stviodo while in the number five subject transitive verb plus direct object and plus object of the complement or the stvdooc okay so have you heard that so i hope that uh, you uh, you have to keep in mind this five no five sen basic sentence patterns for you not to be misled okay so there's this one we uh, let me touch for you this one the first one which is subject plus subject plus the linking verb plus the complement or the s l v c so the first basic sentence pattern according to this in english we have the s l v c or this includes a subject a linking verb and a complement Linking verbs are the types of verbs that join in the subject with an adjective or another a noun. Some common used linking verbs include be, am, are, is, was, were, and seem. So apart from linking verbs, we can also use sense verbs to make this type of sentence pattern. So a sense verb is a verb that describes one of the five senses like the, the, the sense of sight, the sense of hearing, the sense of smelling, and the sense of tie, touch, and the taste, okay, the sense of taste. So on the other hand, a subject, subjective complement is a word or a group of words that often follow a linking sense verb. Object, subjective complement can also be a noun, pronoun, or an adjective. So consider down natin the order of the subject and the linking sense verb in complements in the following sentences. So as you can see in your screen, in the, in the examples given, she looks happy. She is the subject. The linking verb is looks, while the complement is happy. Okay, so do not forget that. Always uh, take note of this example. The next two is, the number two is, Orange and yellow are bright colors. So, subject is the orange and the yellow. While the uh, uh, linking verb is are. 
And then the bright colors considered to be as the complement. Okay? So for the number three, we have the example here. The food tastes bad. So the, 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 the word the food is the noun. While taste is the linking verb and bad is the complement. Okay, for the number two, we have the subject plus the intransitive verb or the SIV. So when learning the basic sentence pattern, the SIV pattern is the simplest sentence type. It includes subject and the intransitive verb. Grammatically, intransitive verbs do not need a direct object. While or unlike and trans transitive verbs, verbs belonging to this type don't answer the question what. So in most cases, dynamic and locomotive verbs are verbs that express movement belong to this pattern. Okay, so also this pattern uses verbs that are in the base form and doesn't need supporting information. This means that the, by, uh, the, uh, the thought of the sentence was already completed by the action of the verb. Okay, so here's the, be oh, below there are the example sentences with the SIV sentence pattern. So like this one. She swims. The book fell. Peter mar marches. Peter is knees. The evil exists. Okay, so the next one is the subject plus the verb plus the direct object or the STV DO. This time, let's move on to the third basic sentence pattern in English. We all are familiar with the STV DO pattern. This pattern includes a subject, a transitive verb, and a direct object. Here we use transitive verbs, which means that we need a direct object and the, and the trick here is Make sure our verb answers the questions what. So moreover, this pattern uses a verb that is in the S form, most especially the stating verbs. And the STVDO pattern, unlike the SIB pattern, needs more supporting information, especially that the object pointed out or pointed about in the sentence noun. So in the, in the example sentences we have below, the subject and the transitive verb and the direct object are placed in a fixed order. So let's take a look at this. They are baking cookies and cakes. So they is the subject, subject uh, are be, be baking is the transitive verb, while cookies and cake is the direct object. The butter, you know, the butter hit the ball. So the butter is the subject, hit is the transitive verb, while the ball is the direct object. Next, in the number three example, she teaches English. She is the subject, teaches is the transitive verb, and English serves as the direct object. So in the number four, subject, transitive verb, plus indirect and direct object, and the direct object, or the STVIODO. Okay, parang pinagsama-sama na itong ano, no? So, in the next list of basic sentence pattern is the STVD, STVIODO sentence. This type of includes a subject, a transitive verb, or an indirect object, and a direct object. If you have forgotten what is direct, indirect, and indir indirect objects, okay, so just click down sa ano yun. So, iba yun. So, in the sentence below, you'll notice that the subject and transitive verb and the object and direct object and the direct object are placed in the correct order. So let's see with these examples. So Mary lent just money. So Mary is the subject. Transitive verb is lent, while just serves as the IO or the intransitive verb and the direct object object is money. Okay? So always take note of these examples. The number two is Anna thought her the answer. So Anna serves as a subject, transitive verb is thought, and then uh, intransitive verb is her, and the direct object is the answer. He gave him the money. He is the subject, transitive verb is gave, and the intransitive verb is him, and then the money is the direct object. 
So interestingly, there are instances where the direct object comes first before indirect object in the sentence. And although some grammarians insist on its correctness, some consider the pattern acceptable in English. So instead of STVIODO, the pattern becomes STVDOIO. Okay, guys, have you heard that? So, for example, they gave him the money, that is, the pattern here is STVIODO. While this one is different, the other one, which is he gave the money to him, which is the pattern is STVDOIO. So, vice versa, you can use that code, okay? So, in the last one that I can share to you is a subject plus the transitive verb, plus the direct object, and the object complement, or the SDVDOOC. So the basic or the last basic sentence pattern we have in English is the SDVDOOC, sentence type. This sentence pattern includes a subject, transitive verb, direct object, and an object of the complement. Unlike subjective complement, object complements direct describes a direct object. So the object of the complement in the sentence pattern refers to a specific direct description of the direct object being done by the subject with the use of the verb. Generally, the OC in this pattern could be a noun and an object, adjective or an adverb. Check out this example we have below. So she called the boy attractive. She is the subject. Called is the transitive verb. While the boy is the direct object and the object of the complement is attractive. Next, number two, they painted the house blue. The day is the subject, transitive verb is painted, direct object is the house, and the object of the complement is blue. So those are all about the basic sentence patterns in English. Oh, there are also important notes though to learn. I should move forward in the learning English grammar. Understanding the basic sentence pattern in English is essential. That's true. Although there are over 10 sentence patterns in English, the five basic patterns that we discuss are the most common. So as a sort of, let's review it again. We have the S, L, V, C. Ayan. Nagawa na natin yung kanina. The S, I, V. Inuulit na lang. So I'll just run it on. And then the S, T, V, D, O. Yes, the S-T-V-I-O-D-O, -O. alright, and then the S-T-V-D-O-O-C, alright, so that's all, and I hope uh, you learn a lot. So that's all, and I hope you learned a lot from it, no? The different patterns in English, you know, that is very important in our lives, especially in our day-to-day -day living, and in especially if you are talking to uh, someone else, especially the foreigners, no? If you are in abroad, no? so this is very helpful. And if you are new to my channel, please like, subscribe, okay po, and share it to your relatives, friends, mga mahal niyo sa buhay, so... Patulungan din natin sila. Okay po? Maraming po salamat and I hope you keep on supporting me. Thank you so much.